this is Snook. Welcome to my show, Pants Are Optional. It's a show about being in the same room with a steamian and not being able to talk about steam to see if you can. There is also, if you do mention steam during the show, there is a small penalty that you have to pay. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye. You want to come say hi to? Hi. Say hi. How are you? These <laughs> <laughs> daughters are so cute. Uh oh. What? Um, you got to. something over here? <laughs> so, yeah, I was just going to say, I'll see you in a little bit. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> yes, Nookie, you want to talk to her while I change, change Fred back? Okay, come here, sit down. Put your headphones on. Put the headphones on. Can you hear? Hello. Yeah, I'll turn it up so you can hear. I'm not putting it on you. Hello. Hi. Can you hear now? There you go. How are you? Good. Yeah. What are you doing today? Um, we've been watching TV. Have you? Anything good? Um, we have a princess movie. Oh, which one? Which, which um, is Barbie. Barbie? Okay. What's your favorite princess movie? Um, the one that has the pink dress. The one that has the pink dress. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Whoa. <laughs> you have a soft Yeah, good thing I have a soft <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello. Hello. Well, How was you at? now you have to get him Bambi and the Little Mermaid. Cause Bambi I, and the Little Mermaid? Yeah, because okay. I, I didn't know. She likes the Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. oh. She didn't She's know. got like her aerial backpack and her aerial lunchbox yeah. from school that she did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but she was I'm like, oh, did you see Bambi? And she's like, it's Bambi. I was like, yeah, no, she's never seen Bambi. But that's a kind of a. Secret. We had a pet deer though, a pet, a pet fawn one time. Well, there and you we go. Hit, and we tried to nurse back a house. Tell people a little bit about yourself. And here you can still say, steam, online, whatever. Hi, I'm 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 witty. I'm ingenuity. I'm ingenuity. Shaolin. Whoa. <laughs> 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 I'm here with Snook on the pants are optional because I love her, she's my sis. Um so yeah. We we met on the social platform called um Steam It. <laughs> it's the last time you can say that. Long time ago. I, actually, you want me to tell him the story about, about, about how you came in and all that stuff or Sure, if you want to, sure. Okay, yeah. So, um, she's one of my personal faves. Everybody has theirs. And she came into the Alliance, and she wasn't going to come in, so we had a nice, long, heart-to-heart -heart chat one night. And it changed her mind about Steam and Steam and the blockchain and everything intertwined, and she came in, and she's just exploded ever since. A good job way to keep up that determination. I've been pretty impressed with you. You like my prodigy student. <laughs> that was that was a real changing night for me, quite honestly. Just the talk that we had. And uh, I'm, good. I'm glad I left an impression. You, you oh you definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, uh, well, I told you. I, I said you 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 were uh, you, um, you were in my respect in a lot of ways that night. A lot of ways. <laughs> And, and that, that doesn't necessarily come easy for me to do that, you know, for people. I'm glad, I'm glad you stepped out of your comfort zone. And... I did. <laughs> Still felt so, like I was a fish. All it took was that first step to that. And... Yeah. Okay. Still felt like I was a fish in a bowl, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we all are. <laughs> all right, I'm going to answer the first question. <laughs> Bigfoot? Yes. Yeah. Um... I, I don't worship Bigfoot. 
He's never been at the top of my pedestal for idols, but I'm, I'm sure some people bow down to him. <laughs> As for the possibility of a creature like that existing, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's about anything's possible. I mean, the imagination can go anywhere. Um, so, I mean, look, look at what we're finding in the ocean. We got like this big giant squid that could capture a submarine and devour it. So, who knows? You know, there's, there's parts of the world that are a little harder for us to get to. So, just maybe. Okay. So, you never saw uh -huh. any while you were in uh, Minnesota? Because, you know, that's. No. No. A lot of elves. But... A lot of elves? <laughs> no, no Bigfoots. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, yeah. Minnesota, I mean, between the Indians. It, it's it's pretty north, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's up north in the middle of nowhere. Um, what's the funniest thing you've ever witnessed? The funniest thing? And it can be anything. Uh, the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. Um, I was I was at a birthday party, about nine or ten. I forget exactly how old I was. We were all eating spaghetti, and it was great. And, you know, the spaghetti was good, and, and we, were, we were laughing about things that were happening in school, and, and you know, we were drinking chocolate milk, and it was awesome, and we were having fun. It was a birthday party, and somebody said something. I forget what was said, but it was so darn funny that the birthday boy's name was Devin Aarons. started laughing, and he started laughing really hard, and then I started laughing, uh, and I had, like, this hyena laugh, and I was like, <laughs> you know, and, and so people, every time I start laughing, other people start laughing even more. And the whole table, you know, there's eight, nine little boys, you know, ha, 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 laughing at each other, laughing. And next thing you know, David has spaghetti and milk coming out of his nose. And, and oh my God, I was just like, oh, and I rolled, I rolled out of my chair laughing. And I almost peed my pants, you know, and it was probably, it's still one of the funniest things in, in my head that I've ever seen in my life. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that, that is, that, that's right up there. You can't get any better than food coming out of someone's mouth. <laughs> or it make it worse, you know, he like he snorted it back up oh. into his nose and like mm -hmm. <laughs> swallowed it. Then I, I, I lost it there, man. I, 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 I couldn't eat anything after that. Was, oh man. Oh. So. For him, it, it was probably the embarrassing most embarrassing thing. Was, thing that was that was that was, for him, it's the most embarrassing moment. What's happening to the light on your microphone? Huh? That means it's on, sweetheart. No. Oh, when 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 we get loud on the microphone, it, it hits a certain threshold and, and it'll turn red, saying that it's it's going to cut the feedback and and the distortion off. Okay. It's like a noise reduction. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> this will be interesting. What is the most <coughs> annoying habit that other people have? That other people have? Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a tough question. Because uh, it's like the most. Not just annoying. Most annoying. Yeah. Oh, For me, it's... It's... it's um like naysayers and people that that have it, that negativity in the back of their mind. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll look at the situation, I'm kind of a pessimist and optimist. I'm an like optimist. Relax about a situation. I'll, I'll look at us. But let's let's say for for example, we're we're driving down the road, blow a tire. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I guess I'll get out the spare. People are like, oh, damn, we're going to be late. Blah, blah, blah. Those are the things they can't <laughs> that's that's probably annoying. The most annoying habit for me is people that just they they only can't see the negative. Yes. Yeah. Oh, only the negative. It's probably about half the freaking world. <laughs> I think it's more than so, that. Quite honestly. It, it may be. So. And I do agree. I, I do agree that I that for me drives me nuts. It's like let's let's look for the positive on the you know. Yeah. I mean, there are horrible things, but at the time, like at the tire, well, okay, you know, change one. You know, it's time to learn. Tire? Me? I, I don't know if I know how to change. <laughs> I, 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 I don't really like it either. I don't know if it's a. It's just the feel of the grind and grease and oil. You don't like that? No! Uh, really? Yeah, 
uh, I'd rather, you know, if I'm, if I'm going to get my hands dirty and gross, it's, it's going to be, you know, gutting a fish or cleaning a deer or, or you know, something like that. You know? I would rather, I would rather, it's the opposite. I would rather be full of trees. And then they got a fish. Yeah, it's down. It's, mm-hmm. it's the whole. It's it, it it's. Gosh. Give me just at Greece. I know it's it. guts. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, I mean, Greece. I know what it is. It's Greece. What? Greece. <laughs> I'm supposed to do what? Yeah. What? Wait, what? <laughs> we actually eat this stuff. Oh, yeah. The other thing. That, that was my first job. Killing fish for anyone. That, and then it gets all over. About six years old. Yeah. yeah, they finally realized I had no desire to touch an actual fish, more or less do anything with it. So they gave me the scaling <laughs> job. Here, here you go. Just kind of rub that across their skin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were like, oh, you didn't get enough. Oh, really? Here, fix that for me. Because <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> uh, what amazing thing did you do that no one... That did you do when no one else was around to see? What? Do I have to name just one? <laughs> <laughs> I've been feeling that there's more than one. Quite honestly. Because there's uh, many layers to you that people don't know, quite uh, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Because you, um, you, you're kind of like me. As much as you let out, there's a lot that you don't. Mm, yeah, a lot of people will never see. Amazing things that I have. An amazing thing. One amazing, one amazing thing, that, thing that you want to that you share. That I'll share. Yeah. That I'll actually share. Okay. Yeah. Um. Does it involve me and me only, or can it involve another person? It can involve yeah anything. Well. That, that just like, don't know about. Cause um, one thing I do a lot. Well, not not a lot, but not as much as I used to, because time was consumed a little bit. I used to take take uh, there's this place called Andrew Sinkhole down by in the middle of town. It's it's an old park. Yeah. And you go back in about a mile and a half, and there's this river, and there's a, a ledge where these homeless people sleep. Yeah. I used to take fill up bags of cans. Yeah. And I set them over there, so you know, they've got a little bit of money. I see the same people running around town collecting cans and digging in dumps. Yeah. That's one thing I do that a lot of people. Did you make that's this pretty amazing. Thing? I well, I think it is because you do it in a way that doesn't. Make I mean, they they don't know I'm doing it. They don't right. know who I am. That's so what I mean. You're just not, like, oh wow. You're not doing it for the thank you. You're doing it. Yeah. You're doing it in such a way that they still have their. Their um, what's the word I'm looking dignity. for? Yeah. Dignity, dignity, and that's, yeah. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> you know, and not many people, and you're not doing it to to show everybody how wonderful you are or anything like that. It's, it's just me, me, and my good heart going over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you are like that, and I don't. I, I, that's something that you you tend to hide. Is 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 really how good you are. Yeah, <laughs> you hide it between all Thank the layers you. of. Oh, I'm not cheeks, Ray. Well, you're you're very good at that, but but again, that's where I think we're a lot alike in that way. We don't like to mm-hmm. really like talk too much about ourselves. Yeah. I mean, some things are fine, but <laughs> as long as it doesn't, Thank you. you know, like have to yeah, put I yourself know. up Shh. there. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. comes back to you in, in different ways. Oh, I totally believe that. That I, I, I've, I've seen it happen in the same day to me. I've seen it happen, you know, years later. That what you do. It comes real. Yeah, it comes really real. Does. Okay. The more you pay it forward, the more it comes back to you. Oh my God. Yeah, and, and not necessarily by who you, what you did. It, you know, it just comes in other ways. You just have to yeah. realize it. You know. Mm-hmm. And accept it. That's the it, hardest part. Accept that you deserve it. Yes. And you're, that's, yeah, it, it is hard. Yeah. 
That is awesome. Like, well, what, what did I do? You know? Right. <laughs> and, and then you, know, you got to scroll back and, and think, oh, man, maybe because of this and maybe because of that. And like, hold it down. Yeah. It's over here of things that kind of equal out over here. So. Right, right. And then realize that, th and that's part of staying positive, though, I think. Going back to the other question is, is that realizing that, yes, bad things can happen, but, but because of who you are and how you are, it does come back so that it equals out. Yes. Yeah. So what's the most immature thing you do? The most immature thing? Yeah, yeah, I, again, a plethora of answers here. <laughs> um, boobs. <laughs> I, I, no matter where I am, I can't help it. Uh, I'll be walking out of Walmart really with my kids, and you know, you know, really like, uh, uh, boobs. What the fuck? Yeah, it's just, it's just there, and and ass too, or butt. So I'm not sure if I'm cuss or not on your That's show. A, yeah, you can. You can, you can I have, so. Okay, okay, yeah, so. and so butts and boobs. I, I, I can't stop myself. It don't matter where I am with. I'll be talking, yakking, we'll be listening to the radio, driving down the street, and I'm like, all of a sudden, and everything else shuts out. <laughs> it's just like, wow. <laughs> so basically, like cuddle this vision. bestial instinct. <laughs> just cuddle vision, too. <laughs> yeah, total tunnel vision. <laughs> <laughs> the person you're talking to is like, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, did you hear what I said? What? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see that? See what? <laughs> no, I didn't. What? What? <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, that, there you that go. is. That is you. <laughs> you, you, you know, especially, especially those ones that have been trained, you know, with their wives, so they can't actually turn their heads. Their eyes are the best number. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got sunglasses on. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't looking at her, but, uh, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> <all right. laughs> what? You've so, been talking for the last hour in the mall? What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. He just can't help it. It's that. not like in a sexist way, you know, I'm not like out here. Well, no, because you don't discriminate. It's just, yeah, it's just, yeah. Boobs are boobs. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't discriminate Sorry, uh, against yeah. any of them. <laughs> just who you are. Just, I like them. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, moving on before this starts to go somewhere. Right. I'll be able to come back from this. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go to. Oh, no, no. I'm going to skip this one and come back to that one. Okay. Because I could see this going way wrong. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what secret conspiracy would you like to start? A secret conspiracy would I like to start, huh? Yeah. Hmm. That one that's actually true and could, could like, go around and change things? Oh, which one is that? Um, I'm going to infiltrate the United Nations and I, I will secretly take over the minds of all of the world leaders uh, <laughs> get get them to dump all their money into space exploration I'm and drop their military budgets <laughs> so I can have a fucking submarine that can go from the water to the moon <laughs> possibly get a submarine in there and you did and you did oh, shit. oh god as soon as you started on a roll your mind was just like Rrr. somehow i'm getting my submarine in there well, i'm getting my submarine out in some time and there, one way or another. And there you have it the man is has a quicker mind than one would think <laughs> <laughs> and a one track way when it comes to submarines and space travel <laughs> yeah yeah I, I need my condo on the moon <laughs> I'm telling you 
Oh, something to say the other day about the, these dudes. It was I think I was on like YouTube or something. You know how they got those ads? Um, Daddy, yeah. can I tell you No, I just plugged it in like thirty minutes ago. <laughs> Your kids gonna wait a while, okay? I'll let you know. Uh, but no, I saw this this, this ad. It was a Wix ad where you can build the website and whatnot. Uh -huh. And they said they were they they have a business model to build. A hotel in space, and I was like, oh, uh, duh, duh. yeah. So, because you uh, send him all your money. Uh, no, I told him to bring me on board as <laughs> as the hotel manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll live there, and you can. <laughs> yeah. Did you ask if there's Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah, is there Wi-Fi on this whole <laughs> Talk about country internet. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you all get every, every five minutes you hear up a word. Yeah. <laughs> I, this, it. <laughs> Moon. Guys. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> Oh, he's still, he's still alive. I can see so many boobs from up here. <laughs> I'm looking down all your shirts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do know my cheeks still hurt from the other day from laughing, and now they're hurting again. My, I'm gonna have like really strong cheekbones from from laughing so much. <laughs> It'd be like the what, new what? <laughs> the new facelift. <laughs> there you go. Wow, you look so young. What'd you do? Yeah, exactly. Smile a lot. It makes it's, it's a miracle. <laughs> I laugh. The laughing is what does it because it's like pulls from like here. Mm, good for your stomach too. That laughing. I tell you what. <laughs> Fat tighten your tummy muscles up real quick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tired. Yes, I had a, I, I did have a sore tummy too. <laughs> well, I know the answer to this one, but I'm going to ask it anyways because I don't think any any other people would know the answer. To this. Okay. If you were held at gunpoint, it's a long one, and told that if you didn't impress them with your dance moves, you would be killed. What dance moves would you bust out? What dance moves would I bust out? I'd start doing some Michael Jackson. Oh! My dance. Start doing the moonwalk. <laughs> you don't see a while banging in a club, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. Uh, uh, I'll leave with no. I, I I'll be all flipping around and shaking. Like, Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so if me. I was at gunpoint, I, I, I honestly don't think I would even start dancing. Probably just disarm them. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much what I knew the answer was. I was saying for to get to that point, really quite honestly. Yeah, I'm because. like as soon, soon, soon as I see you going, that, that that's like my instinct. <laughs> And then, yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh. I don't break their fingers in the process. Yeah. yeah. Or my own fingers. It's, it's just dangerous to do something. I'd snap my finger in training doing that. Did you? Cause, yeah, because one, one, one of the ways to do it, <laughs> you got the gun and you put your finger, like, in the, uh, whatever that ring is oh, called. Oh, the, the, the trigger the guard. Trigger? You put your finger in the trigger guard. Yeah, so they can't squeeze it. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I, I snap my See, my fingers are all bent up, and some of that's from practice and training. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'd be Michael Jackson. Yeah. Just beat it. I'd be telling that motherfucker, just beat it. That's okay. what I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I see the Michael Jackson you turning in there. Ah, nah, 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 you're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> or on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of... What are some of the things you've had to unlearn? Unlearn? Yeah. When I, when I first started doing martial arts, I thought I was the biggest. What's the matter? Please, baby, my baby. Made you bite your what? Your lip? Oh. Let me see. 
She punched you in the mouth. Oh. She punched you in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she moves her arms so she can sit there and go with her uh, tablet. And that's all she's trying to do. And you, you get in her face. I want to watch. Okay, well, watch from a distance. Tell you. <laughs> don't get close to her fist. Yeah, yeah don't get too close. You punch her in the mouth again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. Lacey, <laughs> that wasn't very nice. You should apologize. Punching in the mouth. Really. Oh my god. Yeah. Go, go, go be nice and play with each other. Or sit on the floor and be nice. And just be nice, please. Thank you. You are in so much trouble. You really are. Punch me in the mouth. No, it's not even me. Mommy, sissy punch me in the mouth. I don't know. What was the question, you um, I forgot. What was Something it? about punching people in the mouth. I, I, <laughs> I know. I have to find it again. Because <laughs> that was just too cute and too funny. Because I, uh, I don't um, know how you don't laugh at that. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to. Because <laughs> I told her, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> well, that's your eyes. And it's just like, well, and that was the youngest, right? That punched her? Yeah. The, middle one. the youngest is actually um oh. tired. Oh. What are some of the things <laughs> you had to unlearn? Unlearn? Oh, yes. Well, um, I went out of martial arts, like I said, I thought I was like, big badass. Yeah. I'd already done boxing. Got a wrestling champ. Now we're in martial arts and I got my ass kicked. What the hell's going on? I fight really good, you know? Yeah. So it took me a Understand the principle. I'm not going to say religion, but it is. Well, it kind of is. It's finally quiet. It? Yeah, but to finally quiet my mind. Yeah. And, you know, understand the way that it works. That was probably the hardest thing. I already thought I knew it all, you know? Well. 20, 20, 20 year old kid seeing all kinds of the world already. Yeah. She, she can teach me. I've been around. Yeah. I since say he was you know, 60 year old Vietnam vet. And oh. I told her, That's the big so, But I, I, I thought I was going to. Crap out of these kids. Well, that was—he was probably yeah. a good teacher for you, though. Yeah, he was. He, he really was. Because he had seen it all and done it a lot, and yeah, he, he yeah he trained over. Yeah. That was probably the hardest, hardest thing. Yeah. Learn, and I didn't. <laughs> I sure thought I did. Well, I think yeah. I, well, it's hard to unlearn that you don't. Re know that everything when you're young one, one of the things that's, uh, that I, book I read called The Art of Zen yeah. which really helped me. the principle of Zen is to get your cup I, I literally had to do for various art forms and it, it, was, it was hard yeah my cup was already old full Yeah, that's my answer. Okay. Final answer. <laughs> Final answer. Beep. <laughs> All right. my cup. What would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? So, the coolest animal to Ride it. Ride it. Wow, that's just so much. Wow. Dragonfly. Oh, that good answer. Awesome. That would be so awesome. Good I mean, answer. It, 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 it darts around and flies. It can stop and go backwards and forwards in all different kinds of ways. And, and it can hover. Uh -huh, and Plus, it's dirt. like, <laughs> yeah, what's that shiny, flore, you know, fluorescent y? It the, looks cool. the, the, the luminescent wings. Oh, yeah. If I'm buzzing over your head and shining down and dragonfly and you. That is a perfect answer. That is a perfect answer. Absolutely <coughs> perfect. Perfect. Because per I, I, I was, I'm like, well, he wants to be a, you know, dragon, and then I'm like thinking, how are you gonna, and then come up with dragon. 
So that was that was actually perfect. Bingo. Bingo. He, see, your mind is very quick. It just, I mean, I, I don't think people realize how you, how, I mean, and, well, because you like to have fun and be goofy. Yes, I do. Because I think the world is in serious lack of smiles. I, I, just, I also totally agree with that. Totally agree. I mean, if somebody makes me laugh or smile or, or, well, you know, I, they will get a thank you. Like instantly for me, you know. They're, they're they're remembered too, you know. I mean, it's not something that people take lightly, especially if they're like, not in good mood. Right, right. And you come along and brighten their day. They're typically they're just gonna come off randomly and be like, "Hey, what are you?" Doing? Yeah. They they like that good feeling, whereas somebody that comes off negative, you know. Yeah. Like this evil, all the time kind of person. You're not going to associate with them. The more smiles are spread around, they're contagious, and the more them spread around, <laughs> I agree. The more people want to see them. You know, they make people feel happy. Just just smiling at somebody it makes them think, "Oh, what's he doing today? I'll make me so happy. How come she's so happy?" Right. And then maybe it'll start a conversation. Either way, they're going to feel a little bit better. Yeah. Even I... if even if they make a grumpy face, like, oh, "Fuck, is he smiling?" But they remember that smile. smile. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but they remember that smile. They do. They do. I, 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 I'm of the. I think they do. What is your favorite thing to do during the day? Uh, aside from my kids, and, and making sure they're okay. Steam, 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 and steam stuff on the blockchain. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Steam on. Steam it. Okay. What makes somebody a hero to you? To me? Yes. The compassion is probably the highest quality true. Because, in my opinion, heroes are all about helping people. To have the compassion necessary to be a hero, it it it's like a word. It's like say you have this big jigsaw puzzle, and there's this guy. He's running around. He's flying around, eating up bad guys. But he he looks down at the ground, and you know, people that are getting rocks and all the collateral damage, he doesn't stop. He's like Scott Jones. She's a badass. Cause she's she's no hero, or, or like Iron Man. He's not a hero in my opinion, cause he blows all kinds of shit up all the time and, and hurts a lot of people. And uh, but Superman and Batman, on the other hand, they have compassion. Even though Batman is you know dark now, he he will go out of his way to help people. Right, right. He, but he tries not to to topple buildings and that kind of thing while helping. And I, and um, I love I'm not answer. sure where I left off, but, but superheroes like um, Superman and Batman, they will actually take time to help people. Superman is fly down and grab a plane and stop it from crashing and save all the people. Plus the people that were going to get crashed into by the plane. Batman, he never he never killed an enemy. He would completely debilitate them, which is you know one of the principles of martial arts that he learned. And Spider-Man, I mean, He'll, oh, who do I save? I'm gonna save them both, kind of thing. <laughs> but you know, other heroes like like I love him. He's he's awesome. He's total badass, but he's destroys all kinds of. <laughs> he doesn't think about the collateral damage mainly because he's of a beast. <laughs> well, who but is it now? Say compassion. That's my name. Passion. Yeah, compassion. But who was the last superhero's name that you said? The Incredible Hulk. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. destroys and like everything. Hulk smash! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he goes after uh, or something. He's he's you know crashing through a bridge and throwing cars off the bridge and right. kicking shit around and you know right. he don't get, he's gonna get the bad guy. Right. <laughs> but, he just has. But he doesn't one. have compassion. Right for the other people around him. I I I really like yes. that that analogy that you did. I really do. Cause that, I, that, that, that to me is what a hero. That that makes a lot of sense. True hero. Yes, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. 
it's been fun for me. Well, not well. It is fun. It's or interesting. I've been asking um, that last question to almost everybody, and um, it's interesting for me to see people's takes on that question. And I agree with all all of the takes that I've heard, mm-hmm. but they all are. Um, it's basic. It, it, well, they're told from that person's perspective, but the underlying is is that it's doing for others. Above themselves. Right. And not for the, the thank you. Kind of, kind of like what we were talking about earlier. Exactly. That <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So really, it's not how 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 strong you are physically or anything else you know it, it really has to do with your what, mind what and amazing, your heart what amazing powers you make yeah and I don't think people nowadays and, it, and not to bring it down a little bit but I don't think people nowadays realize how compassion is a positive thing in people's life you know for everybody you know that it's 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 a bigger thing than what people I think they see it as a, I think a lot of people see it as a negative and they don't realize what compassion. So, so yeah, some people do look at it as a, as a weakness. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, um, in the military, some depends on depending on what branch you're in, what you tune you with. Sometimes if no man gets left behind. Sometimes it's accomplish mission at any cost. Right. So. Right. Even 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 in our own government. Yeah. We get t- Yeah. Yeah. The situation. So yes, sometimes it's a necessary evil to forego compassion. And in my opinion, that's not true. But I would have a hard time being in that situation yeah. where I had to put compassion aside. I don't know if I could. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I at this age of, that I am, I don't know if I could. I, I really don't. That's not a bad thing. You're a good person. <laughs> thank you. I just know I said it, but thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, you you did really good about not talking about. St-